Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over the cryptocurrency market, talk about uh, Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies, probably go into a little bit of Litecoin. And also I'm going to go a little bit in quant and some other new coins that I've been checking out that you might want to pay attention to because if you come over here, Litecoin, and if you're going to look for pumps like what Litecoin did from April 2015 all the way to November 2017 for a massive pump, probably not going to get something that massive in Litecoin or Bitcoin. But there are other coins that could do that. There are other coins that can do that. You just got to be able to find them. All right. And it takes a little bit of skill or a lot of skill and also uh, just a little bit of charm and a little bit of luck, too, at the same time, guys. So. You know, we're in it because we're looking for the massive gains. We're here in crypto, right? So here's the deal, guys. You know, I was looking up the word crypto and decided to get the definition of crypto. And people are talking about regulated crypto. I say keep crypto crypto and keep the regulators out, right? Because they're going to ruin massive gains or they could. They could. So here's the deal. I went to this etymology online. Here's what the word crypto means, Okay. Etymology means the study of words. It's actually really good uh, if you want to know where a word came from. This this is kind of factual based. They really can't screw this up, even though there's some unknowns that are factored in. But it's really good to practice. You know, take a look at this. Study words. Um, I like to study words. I'm just weird like that. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not like, doing it all the time, but like if I want to find out some facts, I just I go to etymology. It's etymology or the study of words it tells you where this word came from. So here. Crypto, before the word, word forming element, meaning secret or hidden, not evident or obvious. So it means it's a secret, right? So we're in crypto, but think about this, guys. Regulated crypto, man, it's like defeats the purpose of what this was all about, what would what this whole word means and what it was intended to be. So let's keep crypto crypto. That's how I see it, guys. Just realize the risk and protect yourself from these uh, these risks and the uh, the space that we're in and realize that uh, the people that come into crypto, a lot, uh, not a lot, but quite a few of them are not going to be good actors, bad actors. It's going to attract because the money, a lot of money can be made. So it's going to attract a lot of bad actors. And there's a lot of bad actors out in the crypto space. Just realize that. Protect yourself. Don't trust anybody. Not even me, man. Don't even trust me. Verify. It. Like, go verify what I say. Verify. This guy's full of crap. Go verify it. Okay, guys? That's all you got to do. Verify so here's the deal with Bitcoin. I'm looking at Bitcoin on a line chart, nice uh, blue line chart, and just take a look at that. And um, I think it looks pretty good, guys. You know, I just like studying Bitcoin. It's like, okay, what's Bitcoin going to do? Is it going up, making this wave here? You know, what, what's what's the whole process? Is it going up here to swing back down, or is it going to be making a wave? You know, it's just interesting to me. It's almost like, Bitcoin's wave right here, man, really has me stumped, man. This this whole area right here, you know, what is that? Is that a uh, fifth wave extension of the third wave? Is that uh, ABC down to here? You know, if that's ABC, then Bitcoin's going up to a, do complete a fifth. And that really is, you do have a good shot on that too, man. I mean, it's just hard to really, really speculate on that point. However, let's take a look at some other charts and maybe, just maybe, Bitcoin might be heading up there. There's a chance. There is a good sh good shot of that. So let's take a look at some other. So here's another chart, GBTC. I made this chart, and uh, I was looking at this one. It has that pattern, too. Here's another pattern. Okay, so within the wave sequence, did it go one, two, three, four, five? Well, here's the problem with the GBTC chart. You can't call that a fifth wave. It didn't break it. It didn't break the fifth wave. It didn't break it. Unless that's a truncated fifth, which would be really, really bearish. So here, maybe GBTC is going like that, guys. You have a good shot. I made a video like that a long time ago. GBTC could be going here, and it might take it a while, come back a correction. You know, who knows how long this would take and get it up there. You know, maybe it's going to have a massive correction in this section. And then in 2024, boom, it gets up there. And that means that if uh, Bitcoin is, uh, or GBTC is up there, guys, then, um, you know, these areas, you know, last time GBTC was up here at $50, Bitcoin was what, 69,000, 69,000. So it, it, maybe it's just right here, just beyond all time highs like this. 
you know, you got a good shot, one, two, three, and it's ABC, one, two, you know, it struggles to get up there, and then maybe it's somehow like that, and it's just like that, guys. You, know, you never know. Um, so maybe this is all going to take people by surprise, you know. That's that's what I'm looking at, you know. Here's a Litecoin, right? So here's Litecoin. This is actual wave pattern. I told people about this pattern like months ago. I said, well, Litecoin is probably going to be going to 300 or 400 dollars and breaking uh, maybe even 450 bucks, guys. Uh, more than likely because this is a legitimate pattern. One, two, three, four, blah, 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 five, just like that. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. Like you look at G, uh, look at Litecoin, right? Within each wave pattern, you have five waves. So here's this wave. Okay. Here's this wave, and um, this is questionable about what went on here. But it went, it came out, and then it got brought down in the April 2015. But this wave, this wave right here is the um, third wave, okay? This is a third wave. You see how high that is in the RSI? 98, on the weekly RSI, 98. And within each wave, within each wave, one, two, you can see this is a drawn out sideways two, right? Sideways two, three. And it's a deep four, and it went up for a five. There's your divergence right there. Within each wave, you could break that down. There's probably one in there, too. So you probably have something like this. You can't see it on the chart. It's probably like one, two, probably somewhere up there, three, four, five. Came down real deep in that second wave, right? Okay. So we have five here, more likely five over here. And then you you, you need to have five over here, five over here for uh, Litecoin. So whether this is new for Litecoin or it's finishing off this third. So to me... It's like Litecoin didn't make its fifth wave, okay? So Litecoin over here is, uh, here's this one, two, here's the three. Check the RSI right down there with bearish divergence. Boom, boom, boom. And then boom, 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 however it gets up there. And then you are going to have like this area, wave one back down. And it'll finally come back down like that and probably make a wave like that just below that wave. And that would be your fifth wave. And this whole thing right here will be the, the fifth wave, okay? And you see it, and you'll have that right there, your, your bearish divergence in that area, guys. That's how I'm looking at that with Litecoin, okay? Um, I know I made a video about Litecoin, you know, a few months back. And I was going over this pattern, and uh, you're like, oh, come on, Greg. What are you talking about, man? Litecoin can't do that, guys. Litecoin can't do that. What are you, delusional, man? Interest rates are going up, man. There's just no way, man. This is interest rates going up. So Litecoin is going to do that, man. Don't you know, man? So anyhow, well, Litecoin might know that uh, that maybe the Fed's going to go 25 points and then maybe 25 points more. That's what the market is predicting. And now there's new rumors out there. Traders are going, oh, they're going to flip. They're going to flip and go to 6%. And if they do that, that could do some damage. There's no doubt about that. So be prepared for that. So there's another coin too. take a look at that. So possibly with Litecoin, guys, is that uh, in my opinion, you probably have a wave pattern one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to finish it off. And Litecoin is going to be in this area for a lot longer, too. So this coin, this coin, Litecoin, in my opinion, this is a trading coin. You know, you don't want to be in this area holding on to it long term. You don't want to hold on to it long term, in my opinion. So go over quant. Here's the overall trend on quant. Quant to me is a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Check this out right here. So you got quant in this wave pattern. So it came up. That's wave one. Back down for two. Bu -bu 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 for three. You can see it in the RSI and it came back and corrected that all the way back down there in the RSI. That's how I knew quant was doing a bottom. Look at that. So you take a look at this right here, guys. Okay. This is on a weekly chart. A weekly chart. A weekly chart. You see this down here? Down here. Like I'll raise that up a little bit. Right down there. It's up there. And then you see that one over there, you know, it was down there. What is that? Hidden bullish divergence telling you what? Telling you what? More than likely, quant has this wave pattern. One, two, three, four, coming in this area, struggling off a little bit. And quant could be going into a third wave. So this wave will go boom, 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 and it's going to hit probably medium, median area. You got six, $800 in that area, may come back down, but quant eventually probably get up somewhere like that, guys. I'm talking about some pretty big numbers up there. Okay, I don't want to say those numbers, but this next wave run, I got price targets three to four hundred dollars on quant. Can it go higher? Yes, it can. It's a cryptocurrency. You can go a lot higher than that, guys. Just depends on the amount of FOMO. If people are gonna be FOMO and a Matic and it's going up, probably people see quant, start fumbling in quant. 
Okay. Remember last time I talked about this coin, guys, I said right over here, get into this coin at 40, below 50 bucks, 50 bucks, and just set your stop at $40, at $40. You know, you're going to, uh, you're going to risk, you know, that little amount, let's say 20% for that amount, which was almost 300%. Okay, guys. So it looks pretty good for quant. So here's down here in the weekly RSI. What is quant missing? Wave one. It's playing around down here. And then the next wave is going to be wave three. Probably not that high, but pretty close. Back down again. And then wave five, bearish divergence, telling you the cycle's over. And then the whole cycle will be over up, up there for quant, guys. So it's really going to have to, to ruin this uh, wave pattern here on quant. It's going to take the Fed to say we're going to keep raising rates to 6% six, 6 to bust this cycle out of quant guys more than likely that's what it's going to take or uh you know some other black swan event massive back black swan event to uh, break the cycle on quant and if you take a look at that pattern uh litecoin's working on its way getting up there too it is doing it you take a look at that pattern man starting a little rhyme a little bit to me and you take a look at that pattern started rhyme a little bit too to me so you got pattern after pattern after pattern that's what i'm checking out guys and a lot of people still are sitting on the sidelines with cash because why? They're scared. Look at Mina. There it is again. That Mina, man, is on fire. Dollar. It's over a dollar now. It's crazy. Mina is on fire, man. I really screwed that one up. You can't catch all the pumps. So don't worry about it. You don't need to FOMO because if you missed one pump, there's another pump right around the corner. Okay. There's always another pump right around the corner. So. These are some coins I'm going to go over to AI tokens. Um, that VI token, guys, I'm really bullish on that coin. I explained that in a previous video, the reason why. Uh, normies are going to go over there. Once this starts taking off again a little bit more, Bitcoin finishes correction. I'm going to go into Bitcoin a little bit more, show you what I think is possibly going on. I know the bears are back in town and they're like, oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, they're starting to uh, salivate. Oh, yeah, look at this. Bitcoin at 10,000, right? They're just salivating out the mouth. It's dripping out of their mouth, right? And uh, my salivation for uh, the bear market was over here and here, okay? Uh, I had nobody wanted to watch my videos. I was telling them, hey, short Phantom, short Kusama, short XMR or Monero coin. They're like easy plays. Just go in there and put in a little 5X leverage, guys. Let it ride down. XRP did that a little bit. And that was the time to be shorty. And I said, my previous video is a long time ago. I said, guys, short season's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. And I think that it has ended pretty much. I mean, you can go in there and do some trades and stuff like that, guys. But usually if, the, if it's going like you don't want to do shorts when Bitcoin's going this way, right? You want to do shorts from here. You don't want to do shorts very long. You should primarily go with the trend, with the trend. And, you know, right here, you want to go short. You don't want to go long. You know, you want to go with the trend. And right now, the trend is uh, that way. So I'm going to go over like this girl, Liz, right here, Liz Nichigi, um, right here. She's like the happy and she's a quant maxi, which, hey, I know uh, she's she's good with that because quant is a pretty good coin. It's not too bad, guys. And um, so she showed me some stuff on the um, cybersecurity coin. So I decided to do a little research, guys, a little research on these coins. So here, I got a list over here. Cyber tokens, happy, DDoS, CDT, uh, lossless, and this QSP. So you want to start paying attention to some of these coins, guys, because they look pretty darn good. So do a little research. I'll go in a little bit more depth. I just looked at them last night, the charts. I said, let me check out the charts real quick, make sure they make sense, and they're cool. So and then other ones, AI tokens, looking pretty decent, guys. Looking pretty decent. And then you got Bitcoin over here. Bitcoin. Let's check out Bitcoin. And we're going to go into a, uh, let me go to a four hour chart and see what's going on here with Bitcoin, guys. Okay. It looks like Bitcoin is making that five wave move. Okay. It's making that five wave move. All right. Up here at the top. So we got a wave pattern right here. So let's take a fib. fib. I'm going to take the fib and run it off that. We'll say that's the second wave. Let's say that's the second wave. You see that? Okay, now this is going to be off a little bit because I have it on line chart. Okay, guys, I just have it on line chart likes to clean it up a little bit. And you can see like the little divots and things like that. So you can see right here, more than likely, I take it off log. Yeah, more than likely, this is a third wave. It hit 1.618. Like here, I'll put it on candles. I'll show you. You see that? I went down below it, right? Wick down below it. So 1.618. 
So more than likely, Bitcoin is not done, guys. It's got one, two, three. It might have up more, come down a little bit more. And then there's going to be a period of time it's going to be stuck into a fourth wave. So what you want to, what's possibly could happen, no guarantees, no guarantees, is I have a wave look like that, okay? It'll have a wave look like that. It'll drag it up, and then it's going to do another one of those, possibly make a fifth wave. And the fifth wave can go all the way 2.27. There you go, 20,800 and 2.618. And it could extend all the 3.618, but I'm not expecting Bitcoin um, to go too much beyond those levels. Maybe a wick down there gets sucked back up or something like that with Bitcoin, guys. So here's the deal with it. I'll show you something right here. This is what you can do. You have a two-hour chart. You see Bitcoin right here, guys. The, the, the signal that I'd be looking for to see if it was in a fourth wave is this. Is this here. I'll make it easy for you. If you see this going up this way, just like this, okay? You see this area, let's say it's in a fourth wave, like right in this area, right? Might even make a triangle or something like that, or it might come out back up into there. What you'll see down here in the RSI is you'll see this going up real high, okay? You'll see some minor price action, but you see this up real high, and uh, that'll be telling you it'll be going just like this, boom, to make that fifth wave. It's setting itself up to do it. It'll be dragging that up, okay? Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, guys, you know? I could be wrong, and maybe this is not a uh, this is not a five wave move. It's a A B C, and it could be, but to me that makes no sense. Um, with this wave up here, one two three, you know, here's your three wave move. Here's your three wave move. Five, you know, I am I'm expecting that uh, Bitcoin did a, a A B, and it's going to do a C. Your nice typical uh, flat pattern, okay? And if Bitcoin is doing a flat pattern, just like that, guys. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. What do you think? Right? What does that mean? Okay. If Bitcoin is doing a flat pattern, right? That means one, two, maybe three, right? Come back for four. And what does that mean? Right over here. So check this out. You go to a 12-hour chart. Bitcoin is going to have a reversal at some point, guys. Whether it's going to be going up into a fifth wave or some sort of huge ABC wave, that's the deal. As you see that 12-hour chart, look where this RSI is. That's a massive amount of hidden bullish divergence. This right here is telling you the trend is more than likely the strength of the trend is going to be at least this way. Whether it's going to be in this area or beyond all-time highs, or not all-time highs, this previous high uh, remains to be seen, guys. But I think it's going to pull it off. It's setting itself up to do that, okay? So you want to be careful in this area with all this data down here, you know, because for Bitcoin, like you want Bitcoin to just go into a downtrend down here, you get to really want to see this get dragged back up in here. And then Bitcoin can start going on a downtrend down there in the RSI guys. So that's how I see that with Bitcoin. USDD dominance chart. And you're going over this with you guys a little bit. Let's go to a four hour chart. Take a look at that. So you see, I was looking at the USDT dominance chart here on the four hour chart. And show you guys something. This, this, uh, this thing, uh, right here, this is make it, it's winding up to do a dump. So let me show you something here in the uh, first off the 12 hour chart. I'm going to do a 12 hour chart with this. Okay. So it came down and made this dump. And that's when Bitcoin went up. And you see it dumped all the way down there. And when it came down there, everybody's like, oh, like it, it's got to spike back up. But here's what's kind of finally coming together. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So the third wave and it's making a goofy fourth wave so you, if you take a look at the USTT dominance chart what is that opposite of bitcoin it's opposite of bitcoin isn't it it's going up bitcoin going down it goes down bitcoin goes up and this right here it gets into my box 7.29 7.2 7 it is winding up this is like a spring guys this is springing it's winding up up here to do what in my opinion boom make that fifth wave right there just opposite of bitcoin that's what I'm expecting. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, guys, but the charts are telling me that story. So one, two, three, it's did a third. It's in this fourth wind up. Now, why do I say it's winding up? Look at the uh, look at this, guys. You see that peak right there? And you see this one? It's coming to take it out. And you see, where's the price? Where is it at right there? That's the massive amount of hidden bullish, hidden bearish divergence, guys. Check the eight hour. Here's the eight hour chart. There it is right there. It can get up a little bit more, and now you're looking at it. This right here would be, if this was an asset, guys, if this was an asset, let's say this was like something you could short. Maybe you can. I don't think you can, but here's the thing. 
if it would be an up here and you start seeing this way, way up here, this would be the short setup. This would be the short setup, guys, right here. Be coming up into there and, you know, it'd be doing this drop right here. So if it's going to be doing this drop right over here, back down, it's going up, boom, 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 boom. And it's going to be doing a drop right over here, guys. What does that mean for Bitcoin? It'd be doing it right over here. It's dragging it up, dragging it up, and maybe boom, 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 back down that way. And it's setting itself up for a pretty massive dump. It's setting itself up. Look at, check this out. Look at this right here. You know, be careful. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, guys. I could be wrong. Remember that. Um, and it's going to take some time too. This is a fourth wave. Bitcoin's in a fourth wave and they're just long drawn out corrections. They take time and they confuse traders from time. Confuse me too. Confuse me too from time to time. You know, I thought Bitcoin was doing something different and it pulled some different move that I expected. So you see this peak right here? Look at that. It went down, up. Boom. You see that dump right there? What 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 prevents it from uh, maybe doing one of those over here? Boom, 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 right? And then it's got its divergence over here. Okay? Just the opposite of Bitcoin, guys. Just the opposite. And then you got that move, and then it'll go over here, and then Bitcoin's doing another. That would be Bitcoin's massive, uh, more massive correction in that area. All right, guys? So I will go over some other coins, too. Uh, new update coins. I was just showing the uh, guys. Um, this coin right here is the primal coin. Um, primal coin. Which one was it? Uh, I got. I got have it in my list. Where is it? M M O P. I know P. Where's P? Here we go. Primal coin. Here's the deal with primal coin, guys. Um, do your research. Not financial advice. Um, I'm waiting to see what it's going to be doing. It did a massive wave off of here. It corrected in a wave two. It came deep in the RSI in the eight hour chart, even though it didn't come very deep in price. One, two, three, four, and possibly a five. Wait for a correction. Wait for it to pull that fifth wave off. And you probably, you might have a coin where it's in one, two, and it could be going into this third wave, guys. So right now with the cryptocurrency market, it could be coming down for a fourth. Um, even with Bitcoin and Ethereum, because it's such a uh, smaller cap coin, a little bit smaller, it could rip off that fifth wave. Um, right down here like this, you got your bearish divergence up there, and then it might correct back down, and it could be going into a three of a three, guys. Okay? So I haven't uh, entered into this yet. I uh, It has a lot of issues with it, tokenomics-wise, and some other things. So do your own research on Primal. It's in the uh, sports sports token, play to earn type thing, which was raising a lot of red flags for me. But if it's going into that three of three, guys, you could be looking at some pretty massive gains uh, potentially with this coin. You're looking at 282%, you know, probably somewhere in three 300% um, deal with uh, Primal, guys. So be careful of that coin, though. The tokenomics do not look good at all, guys. So there maybe there's something I'm missing in it, but like the, the it's pretty it's not good it's not good so another one csm which is uh crust shadow i went over that briefly check into that if you're bullish on crust network which crust network is looking really really good right here it's uh in a wave sequence one two three four five and it's not it's not done because uh this right here this right here on crust this right here on crust is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And so I have this marked wrong. This five should be over here like this. This is the main wave count. Okay. So you got one, two, three, four, five. That's the third wave. And back here's one, two, three, four, probably in the same area, five. Okay. And then crust could come up and do this, correct back down to these areas. Crust might be in this area for a little while, guys. Back up here, back down fifth. And then come back over here to the previous fourth wave, and then it'll be getting off into a third wave. But if you're bullish on that, you use CSM, which is crust, uh, crust shadow, which is the uh, canary uh, canary version of crust network. It's like Kusama. It's like a Kusama on Polkadot. So if you know Polkadot, it has a canary network called Kusama, and this is the same thing. Crust network here is the main net or main blockchain, and this is the canary one or the test net of crust which is right here okay so you check into that i definitely am going to be checking into uh csm or crust network guys got to get on the uh, uniswap uniswap which would just say for uh the only issue with that coin would be liquidity issues guys so be careful of that 
but you can go to Uniswap, you get the coins, you put them in your MetaMask, and you own your own coins, not on an exchange, the way crypto should be. MetaMask is pretty cool, and the wallets where you have your own keys are pretty cool too, guys. So um, what's the other coin I was looking at? ISP. Um, guy asked me about ISP. Where is ISP, guys? ISP, uh, my opinion, this is not the whole chart with ISP. I made a post on Twitter about that. This thing, this bad boy could be getting ready to do a run, guys. This bad boy right here is um, could be getting ready to, to do a run on ISP. Like I said, guys, um, you know, not financial advice. It's a high risk play, but you go look at the whole chart of ISP here. I'll show you something right here. ISP. I think it's on trading view. Yeah, it is right here, guys. So here's the whole chart on it. You can see right here with this, uh, 12 July 21 to August of 21. It did a way it's, it could be doing another way right over here like this guys. Okay. Um, it came over here, bottomed out over here in this area on uh, December. Looks like right around December, it's in this area. It could be doing another way right over there like that, guys. You have a good shot of that. That was uh, almost, that was 1,800%. Here's the thing, though, guys. It, it took it from 12 July at 21 to 16 August, less than a month, less than a month. It could be doing something over there. What did I do? What did I do? Guys, I went ahead and I picked up a little bit of that. And don't ape into these coins, guys, because, uh, you know, 1% of your portfolio. So if it's a $100,000 portfolio, put in no more than $1,000 is a conservative thing with a coin like that. Maybe even half a percent, 500 bucks. Run the numbers, however big your stuff is. Take a look at those numbers. Don't be doing big numbers with those types of coins, okay? At least... I am recommending that you don't do that. Half a percent to one percent, no more. Okay, that's that's what I would recommend, guys. That's just me. I could be wrong, and maybe you could dump more in there, and the thing will fly off and make you rich. But that's a huge risk. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.